Hello everybody, my name is Toonlink264 and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Unchained. Today we'll be going through and doing our next mission, trying to complete objective, objectives until we can't complete any more, then we'll go further on in the story. So to get to the quests, you've got on the home screen, so this is the home screen here, usually you can see your party. If you're not part of a party, then only the bottom, you'll just walk around by yourself. Uh, there's a Lux Boost button, which will give you plus 5% for the next 50 minutes, and the button resets every day. Every member of the party can press this once per day. Uh, so we've also got Equipment, Avatar Boards, and Shop, which we've seen previously through the menu. And there's one hidden underneath underneath my button here called Presents. That one's just your daily logins, that kind of stuff. Won't be using that one, like, ever. Um, uh, but this button in the left corner, that is bright orange, is the quest button. So we tap that, and we'll head off to our next quest. So we could either we could do any of the following once it eventually loads. There are four categories: story, special events, and coliseum. Coliseum ones reset about every month, and you try and get as far as you can within that month. And then it will reset. There are avatar boards and all that stuff. All those good stuff. And rankings and all that. We've also got events. These are monthly ev monthly or weekly events, depending on what they want. Uh, these three are always there. But the with the 2.8 launch celebration, so as you can guess, for the launch of Kingdom Hearts 2.8 on PS4, which is absolutely, looks really good. And a monthly raid event, it, you do the mission and you have a higher chance to spawn a raid boss. Raid, the raid bosses there are usually much harder and much more annoying. But you can get some cool stuff with it. Special. Throughout the week, there will be different missions on different days. So Monday, Olympia materials, all that kind of stuff. And speed, evol evolution and experience medals, we covered that last time. Did not mean to do that. You can purchase for $23. This is Australian, by the way. $23 gets you that. Gets you every single one of these for a week. But it ends on Sunday, no matter which week you do it. So if you purchase it on a Sunday morning, it will finish that night. Not very good. Uh, some of these are only VIP. So like this one is a VIP only challenge. You have to purchase to be able to get it to work. So today's Friday, we've got Starlight Materials, Evolve Metals, level 1 to 3. I might do some of those off, off camera, try and get some of that. And Adamant Type or Challenge for the star, Starlight Keyblade. We won't do them today, we might do them next week. Uh, and the last one is Story Missions. So Story Missions, we've been doing last couple of episodes. The new Proud Mode feature, nowhere near strong enough for that. Um... So we'll do Desert Possesses Part 6. All we have to do on this one is defeat all enemies within one turn. So we'll pick through here. We'll use the Keyblade that we set up last episode with the Axle Medal. And I reckon we're going to choose... The Sephiroth Medal from World of Final Fantasy. So we'll get this. Absolutely. So these violet waltzes are a little bit annoying. Okay, so you have to select one and you that, and it does two damage. Looks like it does two hits to that. That is a lot of health effects. Okay. Good to know. So, I haven't really played much in between episodes, well, not on this account. Um, I've got a second account which is not as far, which I was hoping to do with this, but my tablet is apparently not supported for recording video. So, we'll hit me, hit me, nope, we will use, we will run. Okay, so we don't want to go anywhere near that ice flower. 
green, you want to go towards the one in the middle. So we'll use curry and we'll use actually hopefully to the top. Oh yeah, that is much more powerful and it looks like reversed metals are a lot more powerful than upright metals, which is nice to did not actually know that before. So we'll use you. Uh, two hits and flicks damage in exchange for what's HP. So I assume if you're at full HP, you do a lot more damage. Okay. Move on. So, there's our first quest. Completed the mission. 590 lux. That's actually not that bad for a mission that was that long ago. Mm -hmm. So, a whole bunch of materials. And we also got a Hena and Moogle. And a six avatar points completing the objective. Awesome. Jeez, it's taking a long time to load today. Alright, so we'll go up against this wizard map desert dusk. Thank you. Defeat all enemies within one turn. Well, Sephiroth seems to be appearing again, so I think we'll use him. We're almost there. Who knows what those black cloud monsters are up to. Be prepared for anything. So our target is a wizard who is in the top right of the map. So we will go the complete other way and kill everything in our path. down here doesn't look at nothing except this guy okay. so that was a lot of tap damage dealt but got rid of all of our Okay, so you want to be very careful with those. Didn't know what did the first time, so. And it was a good effect, to be honest. Nice spin tax for the multi kill. Try the same here. Okay. Two of those still have a lot of health left. Sephiroth, I'm thinking I might just skip my Sora and go straight to Sephiroth. If I can't take him out and kick him. So, usually the dummy copters have an increased resistance to the metal of that colour. Uh, black ones have resistances to everything though. So they're the only difference. Um, okay. Hey. That's it. Easy done. Second quest there. Seven hundred and fifty left. Oh, that is nice. Lots of things. So we've got a level five Dewey medal and a level three Louis, as well as another hanger. And an amount of avatar coins. So we'll do two more, and then we will go and spend our avatar coins and maybe have a look at a quest. Oh, hang on. You've got three that need to be done. 
Trigger the skill Attack Boost All 1. Defeat 15 or more enemies, and defeat all enemies within one turn. Okay, so two of those should be easily done, but the trigger, the skill, attack, boost, all one, could be a little bit harder for me. Because I don't actually think I've got anything with attack, boost, all one. And we'll go into equipment. We will swap medals. So we want to filter with skill. Attack boost one, attack boost one, attack boost all one. Okay, so we're putting me the pool at the top. Right. Unless any of these have it. Uh, we will put my Lucia where Mulan is, I think. No, we'll put him where Sora is. Grab him on back. <clears throat> attack boost one. You don't know what to attack boost ones. Leave your attack boost one. And I think that's about it. Alright. Cool, hang on. We still have. Uh, we have a bit of an issue. Swap metal. You got a decrease? No. Neither of these have gotten any decreases. Okay, good to know. Let's go. Should bring it down below the cat. Okay. Quests. Alright, so we're going to our story missions. Desert Possessors Part 8. Okay, so hopefully we can get Attack Boost All 1 to trigger. We'll get Sephiroth. That Sephiroth one seems to be showing up a lot recently. Lately. Alright. Oh, spin attack. There we go. Okay. Easy done. So attack boost all can only trigger when you do a spin attack, which is get my grenade. Which is very good to know. And I believe normal attack boost can do it if for any attack. So that, attack boost all one. And I think it gets some experience points. I think we, if you get it to trigger multiple times, it will be it has a chance to go up a level. When I think it reaches level 10, it has the highest chance to trigger. So, I'm not sure if that's based on the experience gained with that metal equipped, or just the amount of times it triggers. Okay, this one should be pretty easy. Complete. Thank you, Sora. Does it possess his part eight? There we go. All three done. So we got a Huey medal, ten avatar coins, and a mithril shard. Because we hadn't completed any missions. See how I see how we got a mithril shard there? There. Yeah, that mission is always mithril shards. You took care of the monsters? Thanks. I'll let the DSPS know. Still never figured out what that what that meant. So we have to defeat the Wibble Wobble in one turn and defeat all enemies within one turn. Well, if we're going to be defeating all enemies within one turn, I think we should be right. Whoops, don't want to unlock that. So with the locking, you can lock a metal and it will and you won't be able to sell it, you won't be able to use it to level anything else up. So it's a good idea to lock the metals that you use the most. So we begin. We will switch over to the treasure trove keyblade. 
that one. We will grab. Mm, I think we'll use Sephiroth. So at least if you do a normal attack with it, it's not going to be reduced power. Looks like there's another post. My precious goods. I was crossing the sands when a big gust of wind scattered my belongings. Can someone retrieve my wares from the desert? Courtyard merchant. Okay, so that was a letter. I'll take this one. Oh, you want to come with me? Fine. I can always use another good soldier. So we protect the guard from Heartless while he searches the lost wares. Okay. So this is basically how the story for Unchained uh, unfolds. They don't really have much, by the way, of... Don't have much, by the way, of cinematics like a normal video game would, but it's sufficient for a mobile game. A little bit worried there. So I wouldn't do it. Okay, so you are all too basic. Mm -hmm. Got the chest. See what the lad wants. I heard you're helping out the palace guards. They're lucky to have you around. Didn't want to do that. That is nice of a lad. Okay, so we'll go up and make it one other step. Four soldiers, huh? Three swing and they're gone. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Might want to use Zaldin here. Okay, no, no, no. Little wobble. So level 84s. We need two. Spin attack and then power. More than enough. So you can see on the heartless that it's got a level and the number next to the level is how many heartless will appear in that fight. Sort of like a Final Fantasy kind of style thing. I think. Ooh, those three creeper plants are mostly of different types. Oh, okay. So one's a fire flower. Never mind. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm, done. Perfect. So that should get us close. 887. Which is excellent. Okay, so one mithril shard and avatar coin for the two for the two objectives we completed. We got a Louis medal, fairy godmother medal, Yuna and Pain. We can probably sell the Union and Pain, as well as all of the Painters and other stuff that we got. Alright, so, we've done our four missions for today. I believe. And we'll switch over to the Avatar boards. Hmm. So, I have to spend 45 on you. Don't think that's going to happen. Right this moment. In, okay, so you need a lot more. How about you? You need 25 and then 10. Which is not going to leave me enough to finish it. So we get 15. There we go. We got AP up and a Keyblade cost up. Which is always lovely to get Keyblade cost ups. 
So we'll then switch over to our metals and sell our metals. Sell metals. Pain. Don't want to sell Dewey. Or is that Louie? I can never tell with those three. I can't remember which. I can never remember. I know that one's Louie. I think Huey is the red one. I'm not sure. So that's all of the ones we want to sell. And we got... Oh, wait, hang on. No, we're not. No, it's not. We've got a Moogle medal. Sell those. Huh. Now, we've only got one Fairy Godmother and one Merlin, so I can't evolve anything there. But, I do have a bunch of... Okay, so we get back. We will filter... Not like that, we will filter by level. Hmm. See if we can max out Final Form Sora. Not even close. Yeah. Hmm. start leveling up a level 3 medal. So what I want to do is I want to have a look at my level 4 and level 5s. See what I have the most of. So we go red. So they're mostly all the same one, but we do still have quite a few. So we have a lot of green ones. Okay, we also have a lot of green ones. Fair enough. I think most of these focus on hitting just one enemy. Hmm. So no Kingdom Hearts 2 Kairi gives me strength boost by which should boost everything by two tiers for one turn. And we need the two is just basic attack. Hmm. Clean mini is basically healing. Um, mm. What are you? More damage, the more gauges required for the next metal. No, I don't think we'll level up with you. I think we might try and make this one as close to maximum as possible. do one special quest. Yeah, we'll do one special quest. So we've got no... Ooh, okay, so I think we want to do a level two. Two star evolved medals. Uh, we'll use Yuna for this one. I do like the look of how um, you attack. Yeah. Ow. Level 10 monsters. Level 10 enemies. Level 10. I don't even have to try. Alright, Pry Red should go down in 6 hits. Or 5. Shocker Egg. chest. We want that one. We want to kill them. Bag of jewels. Okay, so two bags of jewels. One, two, three. Quest complete. Are we completing on that? Yeah. 
three Merlins and two Moogles. Low level Moogles, that is. So, I think I have quite a few level three medals that are up to evolving. So, off camera, I'll spam through a few of those and get them done. Get them upgraded. We should have some extra stuff to use next time. I reckon that we will do one more mission. Do an event mission. Do a Kingdom Hearts 2.8. I think we're going to do a five one, which is the event advanced event event play. So we need 300 medals. I plan to completely finish that avatar board. I already started, as you can see. I didn't actually realize I could record mobile this easily. So we jump into fire plant. It's a blue, so we'll use the green keyblade. So basically every normal game's rocking triangle kind of thing there. So we'll grab you. Down here. Dark ball, huh? Here. Dark plot. I think that you will give me Yep, you give me a treasure. Missions needed to be completed on that one. Go to the higher up one, which I'm not level, not high enough level for. All of the event things. So 10, 30, 38, 48, 78, 118, 134, 164, 169. That is a good number of event coins. I will need to get more. So I think that will we'll call it. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to call it quits there for today, but we'll do one more. Mainly because level 9 should go down pretty easily. Alright. So, spin, spin, So, easy, easy, easy kill. Quite a lot of everything. And of course, since we didn't need to call for help, we were the only one there. So we should get all three of the... There we go. We got three Huey. I think they're Hueys. Yes, they are Huey. Okay, red is Huey. So, four level three Hueys and a Mithril Stone. Alrighty, 
So that will so that will be the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. And I will see you next time for more Kingdom Hearts Unchained. Bye-bye.